Say hi to the people. You do your thing. Oh. Hello, humans. I'm your Schiller. <laughs> Welcome back to the Dex channel. Yeah, we're here. We're doing uh, episode two of Yo Schiller Battle Show, yeah. Untitled. Welcome back to me using some quirky Pokemon and hoping that my strategies work out. Last time, we went over, like, your team. Mm -hmm. We did one battle. It was surprisingly successful. We, yeah. like, deftly handled the opponent. No big but deal. Like we said at the end of the last video, it also wasn't an accurate representation of how VGC usually goes. Exactly. We didn't see a single Landorus. <laughs> yeah, it was a very, it was a very like gimme for us. Right. As a first battle, now we're gonna get real. Yes. Now, now we're gonna actually see what happens. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Ready? Just want me to jump right into jump it. Jump right in. Okay. Don't even screw around for a minute. Here you we go. got it. Here we go. So, all right. Oh. Oh. So this is the type of team where Zoroark would be advised to go out first. So there's that dragon we can't remember the name of. Uh, oh, I thought if I put my mouse over it. It will. I think it will be okay. later. Uh, all right. So Zoroark. Um, oh, if I had to guess, he's probably going to start with Tyranitar and Zapdos. That just seems like the strategy. The other option is he might start with Hitmontop and go for Fake Out. Either way, I, I'm, it's seeming like Zoroark Weavile is the way to go. Yeah. Now, the only important thing is, what are the other two Pokemon I'm going to enter? Because whatever's last is what Zero Rook will become. I don't think you need Gudra. I don't I don't know. Gudra is just a defensive poke. I, yeah, probably wouldn't be great against this dragon thing, huh? No. Um, you, you, I'm thinking Mawile Milotic then? Mawile Milotic seems like the way to go. It's an answer to everything, except maybe Zapdos, but you can maybe get it with a Blizzard. Zapdos is going to be coming in first, so <coughs> Zoroark and Weavile would have to take it out. All right. And maybe you can get it with a, with a Blizzard. We'll okay, see. so we'll do Mawile and Milotic, because it doesn't make sense to have Mawile last. Yawile because Mawile and Mylokaras. Mylokaras. Yeah, I think that's its Japanese name. So Okay. Shiny. Naga Nadel. Naga Nadel, right? This is the Poison Dragon. That's the Poison Dragon. Yep. All right. Beast Boost. Ready to go. Totally motionless. Um. So... As a poison dragon, it's usually the better option to try and take this thing out with Weavile. But I, I just know this thing is going to go for fake out. So the Milotic is, in fact, Zoroark. It's Zoroark. It's okay. showing. So ha, here's how you know. Like, obviously, this is not my move set for Milotic. Right. So you just have to remember that like Zoroark is on the yeah. field. I just wanted to let everybody at home just just if just if you're keeping score. Okay. Right. So the thing I can do is I don't think this thing's going to have a Z move, so I could try tricking it. But I just, I don't, like, I think it's just gonna, gonna go full force attack. So, it's kind of a weird situation to be in. I may as well just go for Dark Pulse at this point. Uh, Dark Pulse and then fake out the Hitmontop. Because I, I just gotta imagine yeah. that's what it's doing. So, alright. That's fine. And he ejected, which isn't bad. That's Yeah, I mean, if it's a fake out user. It gives him a free fake out later is, like, kind of yeah. what I think the, the thinking is there. I don't know if that's, like, the greatest strategy I've ever seen, but maybe it will be. We'll it's, see what happens. It's a fake out, and it's usually a rapid spinner. But, yeah. Oh, okay. man, that was very, very delightful. Okay. Right, so both my Pokemon are faster than this thing. Yeah. So because this ability is Beast Boost, so yeah, there's so no way no it's, it's going to get any faster. So just do that again. Yep. So we're going to go Dark Pulse on you because I know Zoroark is faster than you, and then probably Punch Brick Break on Tyranitar. So. It's not going to be good. It's not going to, like, not hurt anyone. So I think you're good. Right. So both my Pokemon are faster than everything that's on the field right now. I'm not I'm yeah, not worried. Even with the cut attack, I think Weavile is still going to do some serious damage to Tyranitar because you get that 4x. And even if it doesn't, like, knock it out in one hit, I've got... I actually have the real Milotic in reservation. Exa exactly. So we'll see what happens. Naganadale's done. Okay. No threat Brick break. There. To Brick and break. that's with minus one attack. So yeah. had I had full attack, it would have been fine. Weavile's probably going to die. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, Weavile is out. Weavile is not known for its defenses. That's fine. That's it's literally even, a glass cannon. It's not even a big deal. You can take out that Tyranitar. It's not literally a glass cannon. It's literally a Weavile. Yeah. But it's, it's the definition of a glass cannon. Sisi <laughs> nepa unpi. Okay. Interesting. So, Zoroark's still faster. It's If it goes for fake out, so be it. I can only do so much with that. But It's not even really any threat to you right now. Right. <laughs> I just, I just want to take out this Tyranitar. Yeah. I just want to get it out of here. That Earthquake is going to hurt. Mm-hmm. So... But will he do it when Hitmontop's on the field? Uh Oh, okay. Well, that happens. That's fine. And that's fake out, so it's so fine. It doesn't even matter. Okay. Now so I know still, he can't fake me out. So he still takes the dark... Oh, I thought you sent that to uh, Hitmontop. Okay. No. It, the idea was I was going to knock this out. Okay. So dark pulls... Just do in the case. the exact same thing again. Yeah, just in case. exact same thing again. All right. Just, I just need to get Tyranitar out. If he switches out, Sucker Punch won't work. Hitmontop is not I acknowledge not that, but Zoroark is still going to be faster, so... I don't think I'm not super worried. Wide about guard it. doesn't matter because yeah. all my things are hitting one specific opponent. Doesn't matter because Dark Pulse will KO it. Yeah. Okay. So you've Zoroark's got... gonna faint right here because of Sandstorm yeah. though. That's fine. It's actually good because you get a free switch in. It's so true. now you've got this situation where you know Mawile's 
faster? Yeah, so this is where Thunder Punch comes into play. Yeah. Uh, the question is, do I want to go for Z Aqua Ring? I think I do, because I think these are both physical attackers. Well, uh, what, what are, what are Hitmontop's defensive stats like is the main question. I don't know, but look at its moveset. Fake Out and Wide Guard. So it probably has close combat. Yeah. Uh, my low tick, I don't think it's going to be faster than it. 101 speed. Yeah, it's not The only thing be. that sucks is that we miss the uh, competitive on this, but that's, that's, that's okay. not a big deal. It, it's, attack is minus one. So I think my low tick can take a hit from it. Uh, it's just, do I want to go for protect? Z power, the aqua ring, and then protect next turn. Okay. I don't think he's going to be able to take you out in one, but if he does, I apologize. No, it's fine. So the question is, do I try to go take out aqua? As aqua much ring? damage as you can do on this guy as possible. Right, because him on top is that minus attack. Yes. So yes. yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, so my low tick is safe for now. Uh, it's, it's just going to come down to how strong is this little rock winded. My low tick's fine. Not even a big deal. Yeah, I had a feeling it would have close combat. And then, okay, that's he's a chunk of damage. That's solid. Perfect. Yeah, he's dead. This, this is turn. great. This is great. So, and Sandstorm's gone, which doesn't really make a difference because it hurt all of us except Mawile. So, yeah. uh, all right. so just go whole ham. Uh, just Scald. Scald. Per, er, just go in on that. Yeah, yeah on the hip on top. top. Okay, and then Thunder Punch on you again. Yep. All right, cool. I'm digging it. <coughs> it's nice to see these guys back. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, nice to see all these Pokemon back in the game. I got to say, I did not. I'm seeing a lot of strategies. Strategies that I might be familiar oh. with. Yeah, that's just a, it's just a bad day to Heartbreak. be that hit on top. <laughs> oh, my God. So burn, if you don't know, also uh, lowers your attack significantly. Uh, so that's that's just a big bummer for a physical attacker all around. Yeah, I just have to keep doing the same thing over and over. Yeah, so hit on top is not going to KO anybody. Um, Raquinid's not going to go first. He's still below half. At this, this point, is a, this is a V. At this point, and I'm not trying to be mean. This is usually the part where the opponent would forfeit just yeah. to like save time. And there's like no disrespect of that if, if that's what it comes down yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. Okay, <clears throat> he got the helping hand in there, but it doesn't doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Great. Dude, we are we are doing great. You should never change this team. You're I gonna, love this you're team. You're going to win Worlds. If I win Worlds with this team, I'll be so happy. My yeah. anti-Landerous team. <laughs> I, I don't want to burst your bubble on that one. I don't think Bayleaf's taking the podium this I, year. I don't think Bayleaf... I mean, if Bayleaf's just there, it's fine. I know. I, I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> but I have not needed to use Bayleaf. No. You know what's... Something bad has happened when I need to bring Bayleaf into the battle yeah. and I win with Bayleaf. <laughs> But okay, should I take? Should I do another battle? Yeah, What's one more. Yeah, one okay. more. Yeah, let's do it. We might as well. We want. We're only seven minutes in. We might as well do one. more. All right. Let's see if I can go for three. Let, we'll play three matches. See how well I can do. Yeah. Okay. So here's the Landers. Well, it depends on how long this match is. So, this is this, this is, is like a real team. Yeah. Now. So here's the thing with this team. So Amoongus, its whole thing is to use Spore and to use Rage Powder. So Spore will put my Pokemon to sleep. Rage Powder will make it so that all attacks on the field direct it. The problem with uh, Amoongus is that. Obviously, if I want to take out Landorus and Amoongus is on the field, I have to take out the Amoongus first. I think you should spoof. I think you should throw out the real Milotic and then spoof with Zoroark out first. Okay. Because he's got... What has he got? He, look, just the fact that he has Landorus on his team means that Weavile has to be somewhere in this battle. Because yeah. Weavile can also take out Gengar and it can take out the Amoongus. So maybe spoof the Weavile okay. as Zoroark and then keep Weavile in the back. Because Zoroark still has stuff that he can do to Gengar. He has still has stuff he can do to Mimikyu. Right. Still has stuff he can do to a lot of the... And he has Flamethrower too, right? Yeah, so I'm, be, yeah. I'm thinking Mawile Weavile. Maybe Gudra sits this one out. Well, no, yeah. Gud Gudra's good to mm. counter the Amoongus if it goes for Spore. I think you should bring in Weavile for sure. Definitely Weavile. And but then, then... It's just if I'm bringing yeah, yeah, Gudra, yeah, yeah. then I need to disguise Zoroark. Oh, wait, no. We said Weavile would be the last one. So yeah. Gudra Weavile? Gudra or Mawile, what do you think? You have Thunder Punch. I, I need Weavile in case he brings Landorus. Ye I mean, well, other, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying Gudra or Mawile, and then you bring, in the back, you bring... Oh, Weavile? Let's let's do Gudra yeah, Weavile. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. Okay. Here we go. So this is actually, like, this ideal scenario right now. Right. So he thinks he's about to take out this Weavile right now. And you got a boost. And I got competitive. You're right. Yeah. So okay. now you're in so a now, great situation where you're going to just... Dark Pulse the Gengar. Yeah. Hurt him real bad. And then probably Blizzard... Or, it, or should I raise my defenses now? No, I shouldn't. He's, pr he's probably going to switch out. I, can, or, I should just go for Skull. This is enough to knock out Landorus. Yeah, go for okay. it. Um, Z-move or just regular Skull? No, just Skull. You don't need okay. that Z-move just yet. Okay. This and in case turn. you guys don't know, we do have the timer on. So that's why this is going down. It's a chest timer. Yeah. So um, you can't stall out your opponents anymore. It's, yeah. it's all on your own time. Okay, so cool. that's a he miss. still thinks it's a Weavile, which is which hilarious. Which is amazing, yeah. <laughs> not anymore, though. Okay. Oh, does, maybe he will. This doesn't matter. Okay, this this does not concern me yeah. because now I have more Pokemon he, than he does. He might still think this is a Weavile, even though you use Dark Pulse, Pulse, which is like a really weird thing for Weavile to have. Weavile can learn Dark yeah, Pulse. Yeah, he might still think you have one. Okay, now Mim Mimikyu is always an annoying Pokemon to deal with. I just, I'm still gonna target. You should hit the Gengar because he's way yeah. scarier than the Mimikyu, and then 
and just go for this. You should just hurt it. Okay. That, again, doesn't matter. He, they're both trying to stall me out. Gross. It does not matter. Yeah. Okay, because what's going to happen is either Gengar's going to die this next turn or he's going to switch it out and then I can switch out my Pokemon again anyway. Yeah. Exactly. If I'm that concerned about them fainting right now. So yeah. we're just going to go for the same exact thing again. He still thinks it's... He still <laughs> thinks it's a Weavile. <laughs> it's true. Otherwise, he would have attacked it. Yeah. Okay. Or done something to it because he knows it's Zoroark. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see. Because... I don't think he expected you to kill his uh, Landorus so quickly. Right. Well, the thing is, uh, whether it's Zoroark or Weavile, Mimikyu can one-shot it with Play Rough. That's true. So I don't know what he's going for. He just Ally Switch. Okay. I see what he's doing. Okay. Great. Gengar's out. So, so I can still can switch, switch my pokes out. Now you switch into Weavile. Very funny. <laughs> I could. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now the question is like, do I want to sacrifice my Pokemon and keep the plus two special attack on this turn? Because I, mean, I still have my Z Crystal in case you use it protect again. Oh, he, he forfeited. forfeited. Okay. So well, that's two wins. <laughs> Great. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's go for the third. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go for a third. Okay. And, and you guys can't see this because the chat's on the right side, but you're now in the 1100s. Yeah. Feeling good. I mean, I never use this account. Okay. My real account is secret. That's fine. So, That's fair. But uh, but 1100 in rank is like it's pretty the, nice. the point where you're like, okay, you've won a couple matches. Like yeah, you're feeling good. Right. You're feeling good at that point. I'm I'm just I'm just ecstatic that our show is yeah. making us seem so awesome at Pokemon battling right now. Yeah. Look, I know I'm not gonna win all. Um, unless, oh, Gastrodon and and uh, Swampert. So that means Zoroark has to come in. Yeah. And so, even more so, Zoroark cripples, uh, um, Nine Tails because Flamethrower will knock this thing out. So do we want to spoof it as? as Milotic, uh, because that's the one that any of those guys are going to be least willing to attack, and it puts pressure on the Arcanine. If he starts with Arcanine, he'll immediately know that it's not Milotic because it won't have competitive. It could have Marvel scale. Some people do run that, but it's. I think he'd likely see through it. I guess that's true. I've always used Marvel, Mar Marvel scale on mine. I don't think he would be like, that's a Zoroark. I don't. <laughs> well, true. but he knows there's a Zoroark. Right. So that's why it's like, I used to use Marvel scale all the time. But ever since I started using competitive, I realized that like everyone maybe 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 lead them to believe it's Mawile, so they think they're getting rid of the Mawile. But again, he, Mawile has intimidate. It would have to be Gudra. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what well, should I do? Well, that's actually good because you need Gudra anyway for Celesteela. Right. So let's do Zoroark, Mawile. I don't need Weavile in this match. I don't no, think. No. No. So Milotic, Gudra. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Here we go. Gudra is believable. He checks I, out. Okay. So, here's the plan. He probably thinks I'm going to attack with Gudra yeah. to at least one of his Pokemon. But, oh, the problem is he didn't bring either of his water types in, so should I even bother? Actually, yeah, because I can either that I can trick the Ninetales and get it stuck in a Roar Veil, or I can just, just go straight for Flamethrower. I think you should just burn it to the ground because it's going to go first. Okay, and then try to go for Play Rough on this Como. -Oh. So Como is going to go for a Z-Move. Uh, is it worth switching to another Pokemon? Um, Who's he going to hit? He's probably gonna go for Mawile because it's oh wait he can't because yeah, it's dragon no, move. Yeah. Okay, so I'm fine. He's if he Unless hits, it's a fighting move. But even then, if you're he resisting hits, it. If he hits Zorog, Zorog's dead regardless of what type it is. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go for play rough. I have to hope that the 10% miss doesn't kill me. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So, so that works. Nine Tails is still alive. That's great. Especially defensive, probably. Okay, so who's he going Z for? Clangor's Soul Blaze goes right into Gudra. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it's still alive. Wow. I was I'm glad I was wrong. Amazing. Okay, so there's Amazing. that. Mawile, please don't miss. Great job. Amazing. <laughs> Mawile hits like a truck. That's Amazing. what I'm saying. Amazing. I can't believe Zoroark is still tricking people when there's a team preview. <laughs> I guess it was a pretty good trick. Even if it doesn't trick people, Zoroark's still just a fast Pokemon. It's true. So It's true. All right. All right. So Arcanine. There Arcanine's it is. Arcanine's out. All right. Zoroark is still faster. So I can still just knock out this Ninetales and just let Zoroark die. It, it feels mean to say that, but I think yeah. that's what it's going to come down to. He's probably going to protect, but... And Hale's going to kill it the next time I send it back yeah, in, so I, well. I may as well sacrifice yeah. it. Uh, I don't know if it's a wise idea to keep Zoroark, or to keep Mawile here. Should I go to Milotic? It resists. Sucker. Well, it, Aurora Veil's up, so no matter what, I'm not going to one-shot this with any of my attacks. That's, that's why true. I'm thinking Milotic's a wiser idea. Yeah, and then you can get some defense up, and you can... Yeah. Okay, let's go for that. All right, let's try that. He's not going for extreme speed, which is nice. Nice and clean. Okay. And flamethrower. Perfect. Beautiful. So, okay. So, Zoroark's out. That's fine. I was expecting that. And then I could bring Mawile back in, but I think You should Gudra... bring in him because he's resistant to everything. You can hit him with muddy water, you know. Uh, Gudra? Okay. Okay. And there's the Gastrodon that I feared, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Um, can't do muddy water because it's going to absorb this. I see. Because uh... it has storm drain. Well, why don't you just hit it with uh, like a nice buff Dragon oh, Pulse? Well, or Blizzard. actually Hail, yeah, Blizzard. Blizzard, okay. Blizzard and Blizzard? Blizzard or and Blizzard? maybe should I just go for the defense boost just in case and yeah, then do Blizzard I, next turn? Yeah, why not? Okay, do that. 
Doesn't matter. I'm not really targeting that Arcanine right now. Yeah. So here we go. Got my defense boost. Nice and clean. Blizzard into the Gastrodon does. Okay. Does easily. nothing, but that's what Gastrodon's for. Doesn't bother me too much because these are. These are technically his final two Pokemon. I know he has nine tails still, but yeah, he's it's not, it's not that threat. big of a concern. Um, again, Blizzard and Blizzard again. I don't know. I mean, it didn't really do much, but I mean, might as well. It's doing something. It's getting a chip on there. It's not going to miss because Hail's up. That's, right. the, that's the main reason I want to use it. I think G Arcanine is dangerous also. It definitely is, but these can both take at least one hit it's from true. it. It's uh, true. Blizzard and Blizzard again. Might as well. Hope for a freeze. See what happens. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Can you freeze a fire type? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know what the rule set with that is. Let's see. Okay. Go. All right. This is fine. Yeah. This is a good situation it's, to be in. It takes at least eight turns for Toxic to kill an opponent. Yeah. So, for, at full health. So, I, I think just keep going for it, Blizzard and Blizzard. Yeah. I don't know what else he's going to do. The moment he switches out, it's time for... Uh... Okay, it's fine. I'm going to... Okay, I, I was going to skip to the end of the turn, but I don't think that's necessary. No. You can just watch this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, hail is stopped. All right. So now the question becomes, do I keep... Should I switch one of these out, or should I... I mean, I don't really think there's any reason to switch any of them out right now. Because well, Toxic's mean, just going to keep dealing more and more damage to Gudra. I guess that's true. I mean, the problem is Mawile's very susceptible to Arcanine. And he's just going to go down the moment you bring him in. That's really your only option right now. So I think it's better to just do as much damage as you can right now and then see if you can just get lucky with a Sucker Punch. All right, so should I try and Dragon Pulse the Arcanine? It's a stab. Okay. Might as well, yeah. He's not going to protect this turn. I, I Either I use Protect or I use Blizzard. You got to just use Blizzard. Okay. There's that Flamethrower. It's fine. Kind of glad I didn't switch. All right, slowly but surely. There's Dragon Pulse. Ooh, that that's nice. That's good. That's what we want. Yeah, okay. I had a feeling he would have some sort of healing item on him. That's a KO, right. I think. Next Dragon yeah. Pulse. All right. Yeah. Well, he's going to be faster. So I just have to go for it, right? Yep. There's not a whole lot I can do. There's really not. Yeah. Okay. And then Blizzard again. All right. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Because now Mawile gets to come into play. Yep. Sorry, I just totally skipped no, that. No, it's turn. not a big deal. Uh, So I can Sucker Punch him if I so desire. Yep. And again, this is starting mm. to become a little bit of a problem. We'll see. Okay, Blizzard? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, what do you have? I mean... This, yeah, this is a stall Gastrodon, so at most it probably has Earth Power or um, yeah. like Surf or something. It might so. protect... Well... Okay, Arcanine's out. Critical hit. Great. So that's the big problem gone. Okay. He's still taking damage. Skull, Skull's not doing fine. damage. Hoping for the burn there, but he's not okay. going to get it. Uh, Oh, did I take out his Ninetales? Uh, mm, I don't... I, I'm sorry. I'm used to this, like, blacking out the Pokemon when you KO it. Yeah, it, it does. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. That's so, all good. All right. Go for... Well, okay. I may as well... I, just, I, yeah, should, just I shouldn't chance Sucker Punch, right? Well, if, okay. I, yeah, I can't chance it. Just hit him. Yeah. Just hit him. Yeah. All right. My Lutic's going to go down. I'm sorry, girl. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you did good. All right. Now I just have to hope that Play Rough doesn't miss, like, three times in a row. Yeah. You did good, My Lutic. P Play Rough's not going to miss three times in a row unless your name is Alexander Lewis Fasciani. So. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Great. There we go. We are All right. the greatest Pokemon trainers <laughs> ever known. Alex, thank you very much for your yeah. help. That's three wins in a row in this episode. That, and counting the win from the previous episode, that's four that, wins. That is crazy. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, you can check out Yo Schiller. Uh, his his socials show up up there. Whenever that advertisement shows up All the up time. Again. Yeah, check him out. It's very obvious. It's YouTube.com slash Yo Schiller and that's Twitter me. at Real Yo Schiller. Yes. Alex, out. thank you very much for having me on the show. Thank it's you been for coming on the a show. A pleasure being here. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, we'll be back with one or two more of these. See you guys around. Bye bye, humans. Whoosh. Whoosh.